Hey, what's going down YouTube? I'm really excited to bring this new repair video to you. Uh, it's for a Nokia Lumia 929. Um, it should be pretty close to the 930 as well. I can't imagine they'd be that different. Um, I did a quick look on YouTube real quick and I didn't see any videos for a complete teardown of this, so I'm excited to help some people out if need be. Um, now this video I'll be tearing down everything, but I will not be removing the LCD from the chassis or the midframe as this is still fully functional and I don't want to risk uh, damaging it. It's still a pretty expensive phone and I'm really looking to resell it as well. But I'll take all the internals out and uh, it can't be too crazy different. A couple tools I'm going to use is a, a dental pick, a pry tool, a couple of these additional um, guitar picks pry tool, and then we'll have a Torx, I think it's a T5, a smaller Torx screwdriver as well. All the screw internals on this are going to be a Torx. First thing we're going to do is use a, use a SIM card uh, puller as well to pop out the SIM card slots. And we're going to take the back off, and to do so we have to pop out this little plastic tab. All you have to do is push in and then down, and it'll depress and pull out the back housing just a little bit, enough for you to get a tool in there and start to pop it back off. So we're going to use um, just this iSesimo tool, get in there and start to wiggle it back and forth can be a little bit tricky sometimes um, it'll pop back in if you uh, don't get to it quick enough got a good separation there now just being careful not to damage the housing as well we're just going to twist and pull now that i got some separation I'll use a plastic pry tool uh, like a guitar pick I'm just going to slide this in and just twist it sideways and start to separate the screen all it's held in by is just clips that snap in so let's work our way around the edges. Now, basically not putting a ton of force to snap these clips off. I'm just twisting the pry tool in there and they'll unsnap for you. Starting at the top and working my way down towards the bottom. Once we get done, we'll start on the other side and work our way down to the side of other side of the phone. You want to make sure you get all of them all the way down to the bottom here. It can be a little tricky on the ones down here at the very bottom. I sometimes don't want to unsnap very well. Use a thinner pry tool here, see if we can not get uh, a little bit better separation down here at the bottom. There we go. Go ahead and remove it. You can see that it's got the wireless charging area. Now you can replace the camera glass back here as well. Just heat it up a little bit and pop that out. Nothing too crazy or spectacular on the back of the device. We have our internals here now. You can see that, um, like the majority of devices out there, it's got that plastic housing over the logic board and the battery. Uh, it's held in with screws. So we're going to go ahead and remove all of the torque screws around here, all of them that are around the back side of the device. We'll start down here in the corner and work our way around. These are all the same size of screws, so it doesn't matter which order you take them out or you keep them in order you can go ahead and put them back in um, in random areas if you want to there is one that holds down the battery cover right here this metal piece we'll go ahead and undo that screw So we can't pull that screw out. The cover will pop right out as well. See it slides in on that edge just right there I pointed out. This phone was a lot easier to dis disassemble than I thought it was going to be. making good progress. The one screw that I left in there is slightly depressed further down into the housing, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get out. Um, see if I can't tap it out here. If not, I'll just leave it in until I pull the housing out. Alright, I have all the screws out. We're going to start right here in the middle, and we're going to try to pull it out. You can see we can wiggle it right off, actually. There's uh, two tabs, uh, one at the top 
and then one at the right side of the top portion of the screen right here um, it slides underneath and this one underneath here as well so if you have a hard time getting it out it's probably because of those two tabs you see we have some adhesive here on top of the battery we're gonna go ahead and pull that back we're gonna undo the battery connector here with our nylon pry tool just go nice and easy to pull that out You can just stick your spudger underneath. This is actually not held in with a lot of adhesive. You can actually pry it out pretty easy. Go ahead and set that aside. See, there's a couple cables that run across underneath. It's almost kind of like a HTC phone. They got cables running every which way in here, it seems like. So unprying two cables here. One was for uh, the side slot and one goes across the middle. There's a LCD cable right here we'll go ahead and undo. We have a funky wire connector right here as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that off. And then it's got a ribbon cable on top that's actually stuck down with some adhesive onto the logic board. We're gonna go ahead and just pry that back. Being nice and gentle with that dental pick. We'll pop off this cable connector here as well. We have one for the front facing camera right here. We can actually just go ahead and remove the front facing camera as well once we undo that cable connector. See the little foam housing around the ca camera started to come off? Just go ahead and put that back in and make sure it's lined up correctly so you don't lose it. We have a connector here for the separate, this, this, this little, the, the cables I'm disconnecting right now are actually onto a separate board um, out of the phone. So we're going to try to remove that just real fast. There's a connector clip right here. Uh, similar to like it, whoa, that popped right out. All right, so be careful with that one. I uh, want us to jump out at you. And there is a slim slide slot tray here as well. So we're going to go ahead and move that out. It looks like it's got the water sensor on it right here as well. It's kind of similar to like an M HTC M7 where it's got the little pressure clips inside of it that hold the logic board in place after the screws are removed. So we have one right here on that side of the logic board as well. So we're going to pry up from this right here, see if we can't get the logic board to start to pull back for us. Go ahead and remove the cable uh, a little bit further back from the logic board. We're going to wiggle it left and right. Right here, there's a pin that the board sits on top of. It makes it a little bit of a pain to remove. Um, you have to wiggle it back and forth until you get it to pull up. We can go ahead and remove the rear facing camera here as well. It's got a ribbon cable connector. You can pop that right off. Fantastic. Went ahead and removed the logic board, the rear facing camera as well. Pretty easy to disassemble this phone so far. We're going to take a look at some of the more interesting connectors here and see uh, what's going on. I'm going to try to pry out things like the vibration module. Um, it looks like the mic is right where the charge port is at. The three and a half millimeter headphone jack at the top has a ribbon cable connected to it as well. So we're just going to wiggle this back and forth and see if we can't pull out this headphone jack. The back of it comes up nice and easy. The front portion is kind of, um, you have to kind of move it in. We're going to use our dental pick nice, nice and slow on this cable. We're just going to slowly pry it up. Now this dental pick is nice and dull. So make sure if you're going to use something sharp that it's dull when you're starting to do this. We're going to pull it from the back a little bit more so we can't get this thing to wiggle out. having a hard time coming up you definitely insert the front first there we go went ahead and removed it perfect and go ahead and set that aside let's see what else we can pull out of this so this ribbon cable connector looks like an antenna and it goes around the side. It looks like it's just stuck on with adhesive. There's one on each side of the device. <laughs> I 
the home buttons or the power button, the camera button, and the volume buttons are just um, stuck in. There's nothing that's holding them in. There's no cables on top of it. They're all connected to the logic board of the device. We can pry up the vibration module here. It's got a little silicone housing on it. A little funky. It's going to go nice and slow to pry this out of its housing place. There's the housing that just popped off. We can go ahead and pull these little ribbon cables off as well. They'll just put down some adhesive. We're getting pretty close to getting almost everything out of this device. This little rubber grommet here, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's just to hold the battery in. It doesn't look like it wants to come out. It might be connected to the midframe of the device. Like I said, I'm not going to ruin this phone to disassemble it. I just want to check out and see what's inside. There's a little ribbon cable here that's going to pop up for us. It looks like this is the microphone. Is my guess. We'll see what it looks like on the other side once we pop it out. Pull kind of up and out. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's got some adhesive around the portion of it there. That is the microphone to the bottom portion. You can see the little square slot that it fits into. Now you could remove this cable to just put on a little bit of adhesive. Um, I don't want to do anything that's going to damage this device like I was saying. So I'm not going to take the LCD off of it. If I do get one that's broken, um, I'll do it. I know this phone is only used like twice before I purchased it. Um, I'd be really interested to know if the, the Nokia 930 um, is similar to this um, on the inside. Um, I might be getting a broken LCD on a, a 930. So uh, if I do that, I'll definitely make a video of replacing the LCD as well. But it can't be that difficult. It looks like it's going to be a heat gun based upon what I'm seeing from the backside. Um, and then a couple pry tools. You can pull it right off. Um, just a replacement, just like any other Galaxy phone out there. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully, it'll help you fix and replace your front-facing camera, your rear-facing camera, or anything else you might need to replace your mic. If you like the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you find it useful. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to watch the reassembly video, it's going to be down in the description. Go ahead and click on that link.